Hey everyone, welcome to my MuseScore class. In this class, we're going to be covering a lot of stuff on how to use the MuseScore program. Now, if you're not familiar with MuseScore, MuseScore is a free program. It's totally open source. Uh, you can download it at musescore.org. We're going to talk about uh, how to set up this program to input your own musical scores. So we'll start with starting from scratch and building a score in MuseScore. This is using the word score a lot, but that's just kind of the nature of the game um, because that's what this program does. So we're going to set up a score. We're going to talk about inputting notes, and then we're going to talk about how to input text and lyrics and chord symbols and all that stuff. And we'll talk about doing tablature in MuseScore, which is really cool. Um, you can enter notes either as the numbers in tablature if you need to do that, or as the notes, and they'll both update. It's really slick. Uh, we'll do drum notation like for a drum set. And we'll talk about uh, all the other articulations and things that we need to put into a score and then how to make parts from that score if we need to do it. We'll also be talking about in this class the playback of the score. So one of the biggest advantages of using a program to write music in is that it'll play back for us right away. So uh, we can play back just as piano if we want, or anything up to a full orchestra. So you can enter a full orchestra piece in here and write it and listen to it as you go. So we'll be talking about how to tweak some of those playback settings and I'll even give you a few tips on how um, to make it sound really good uh, by exporting and importing to some other programs. So it's gonna be a really fun class. I hope you decide to join us. Um, let's take a quick little preview of the course in the next couple of seconds, and I will see you on the inside. So here's a preview. We have rests. So we can say eighth note rest, and that's gonna have us enter an eighth note rest. Okay, so we'll talk more about that as it comes in. Uh, we have ties and then accidentals. Double sharp, sharp, natural, flat, double Let me flat. tell you how I actually work. Um, so we've seen the various ways of inputting notes, right? And this is where a lot of the tedious nature of putting in a score into a notation program lives, right? Um, it's putting notes in, and you're gonna have to do this over and over and over, and it's gonna take a long time. So when I'm working, now, by I, making those linked, what's happening is that when I put notes onto one of them, it automatically is figuring out the other one, right? So here it's figuring out the tablature. Now, that might not be what you want. Um, you might want to enter the tablature on your own and have it figure out the notes. You can totally do that. So to enter the notes, we just enter the notes like normal, and it figures out the tablature as long as we've set it up as a linked staff. To enter the tablature, we go into note entry mode right here, and I let it go and I get this mess, but I can drag it out to its destination. And that tells the performer to play it a little more connected all the way through. I can also do weirder things like connect it all the way out to here, connect it all the way to here, in which case it's gonna 